you doing around there? I want to see you. You didn't come home last night. That's right. What for? You tell me, huh? What I'm gonna come home for, being as you might not be there? Where did you go? What you care about where I went? I stayed here if you gotta know. I slept on the couch. What I'm gonna come home for, being as, with you making all them stupid accusations? I ain't made no accusations. I just said I knew about things in the future. <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody tell you they seen your sister in my car and you jumped to conclusions? You don't know what I'm doing. You're right. I don't know what you're doing. That's what I'm saying. It ain't like you ain't got no track record. If I remember correctly, you were leaving the parade. <laughs> Look, I'm here. That should be enough. If I didn't want to be here, I'd be somewhere else. Why can't you just take that? Because it's not enough. I don't want somebody to think just because they're there to not, that they don't got to do nothing else. I want somebody to share with me, not hide things from me. You want to know what I'm hiding from you? I'll tell you. I've been hustling, working day and night, while you accuse me of running the streets, and all I'm trying to do is save up enough money so I could buy you a house. So you and Jesse have someplace decent to live. Yeah. I asked Peaches if she could go with me to go look at houses, because I wanted to surprise you. You know, I wanted to pull up a truck in front of the house and say, come on, baby, we moving. And drive on out to Penn Hills and pull that truck up in front of one of them houses and say, this is yours. This is your house. That's what she was trying to hide from me. That's why Turbo seemed there in my car all in time. I found a house. And I come up $150 short from closing the deal. And I come and took the $80 out the drawer. A house? A house, Darnell? You bought a house without me? I wanted to surprise you. You gonna surprise me with a house? Don't do that. A new TV, maybe. A stereo. A couch, a refrigerator, okay. Don't surprise me with a house that I need to get a chance to take out. That's what you've been doing? That's the debt you have to pay? You always saying that you don't want to live your whole life in the process. <laughs> now. You ain't bought no house without me. How many times in your life do you get to pick out a house? Wait, 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 wait till you see it. It's real nice. It's all on one floor. It's got a basement, like a little den. You can put the TV down there. <laughs> you know, I said to myself, you know, Rena's gonna like this. Wait till she see that I bought her a house. Nah. You bought a den for Darnell. That's what you did. So you could sit down there and watch your football games. What about the kitchen? The bathroom. How many windows does it have in the bedroom? Is there a place for Jesse to play? How much closet space does it have? You can't just surprise me with a house and I'm supposed to say, oh, Darnell, that's nice. At one time I would have. But I'm not 17 no more. I have responsibilities. I need to know if I have a hookup for washing and dryer because I gotta wash Jesse's clothes. I wanna know do I have a yard? It doesn't have a fence. And how far Jesse has to go to school. I'm not worried about where to put the TV. That's not what's important to me. You're supposed to know, Darnell. You're supposed to know what's important to me. Like I'm supposed to know what's important to you. I'm not asking you to do this by yourself. See, we're in this together. See, house or no house, we still ain't got no food money. But if you have come and told me, if you'd have shared that with me, you could have went to my mother's, got the $80 for the house, and still had money for food. You just did it all wrong, Darnell. I mean, you did the right thing, but you did it wrong. No matter what I do, it's gonna come out wrong with you. That's why you jumped the conclusion. That's why you accused me of running around with pictures. You can't look at me and see that I quit going to parties all the time, that I quit running with Barbara and her, that I quit chasing women. You just look at me and see the old Donna. If you can't change how you look at me, then I may as well surrender now because I can't, I can't beat your memory of who I was if you can't see that I've changed. 
I go out here and I work like a dog to try to do something nice for you. And no matter what I do, I can't do it right. Because you, you, all you see is the way I used to be. You don't see the new Darnell. You don't see that I've changed. I know people change. But I know they slip back too. No reason. People believe what they want to believe. What they set in their mind to believe. I know what it was when I was going all the time and, and I wasn't bringing home any money. But you could have noticed that I was tired. You know, you could have said, Darnell ain't talking too much because he's tired. You could have you noticed that I wasn't acting like I was running the streets. That I didn't come home smelling like alcohol and perfume. That I didn't dress like someone running the streets. You know, if you had thought it all the way through, you would have realized how excited I was when, when I got that UPS job. How I asked you if I could take it. How, how you would have noticed, you would have noticed how I was planning things. That I wasn't sitting around drinking beer and playing cards. I would wake up early on Sunday and go out to the airport to try to make a few extra dollars before the gym station opened. But you ain't seen all that. You ain't seen the new done. You still working off your memories. But you know what? The past is done with. You know, I'm, I'm looking towards the future. You're not the only one who thinks about justice. That's why I'm trying to do something different. That's why I'm trying to buy a house. You know, maybe, maybe I should have told you about the house. Maybe I did do it wrong, but I've done it. I tried to show you that I love you. What I get for it, huh? Okay, Darnell. You're right. I could have seen all that. But what you ain't looking at is I changed too. We are both different people than we were, than when we first fell in love. I still love you, Darnell. But love can only go so far. We were in high school, it was enough. It was the world, it was everything. But it ain't everything no more. I don't have all the right answers. Sometimes I don't even have the right question. But I do know it takes two to find them. All I know is we got somebody. A little two-year-old boy was counting on us. But I know when you place your hand in mine, you gotta say, Darnell's not gonna let me down. He loves me. I don't wanna make no one, I don't wanna make no more mistakes in life. You know, I don't wanna do it. I just don't want to make no more mistakes in life. You know, I don't want to get old and be talking about, yeah, I had even this other gal one time, but I ain't seen her in 22 years. Listen, baby, if that's not what you want, then you gotta let me know. If we don't know what's important to one another and learn to share that, then we can't make it. We can't make it with each other. I want you, baby. I told you that. You are already my pride. I want you to be my joy. You know, there ain't but one thing I've done wrong, and that's stay away from you one night too long. <laughs> Where's this house at? And here. Oh, <laughs> got a little kitchen, got a nice little yard, got a nice bedroom. They got a real nice bedroom. <laughs>